All right, here's my last boiler before I move. We're moving June 15th, a 20 inch boiler. Big firebox on it. Pop off valve has been going off here at 100 pounds, which is exactly what it set up. Beautiful boiler, it's uh, well proportioned. Probably one of my last for a while until I get resettled into a different house. There are uh, 22 inch and a half copper tubes in it. Uh, it's 20 inch diameter, 32 tall, just the boiler. And the box, fire box is 24 square. Real nice boiler. I have a different hand pump on it. This hand pump pumps a lot more water. That pop-off valve is going to go off again. So wait a minute here. It's uh, 82 inches to the top of the stack. You can see it's ready to pop again. So this pump uh, works really good. The airlock is right here. I didn't even have to use it, in fact. It just really pumps really well. So that's a couple pumps, and it's moving a lot of water. Of course, it's got to move it into the boiler now at 100 pounds, so you got to pump it a little harder, but it works great. Uh, fill and drain are right here. Just connect your hose to it. Fills it right up. And firebox is right here. And the blower is right here. You might be able to hear it. I only use the blower when I put new wind in if I think it needs it. Of course, you have to have some boiler pressure. This handle is fairly new. doesn't get hot at all. The ash pan and draft door are right here, although it gets a lot of air up through the draft door, up around it, and into the fire as well. So, water tight glass. Always make sure your water is at least halfway up on the glass. Tricox whistle, I'll blow it. This is one of the best whistles I've ever put on a boiler. I've got these temporary valves on them. I'll take them off. I'm just using them to make sure they work so that the whistle works. So that if it doesn't work, I shut the valve off, remove the whistle, and put a different one on. Engine out is right here. Half inch. And there's a temporary valve on this one right here, too. Um, uh, just in case that pop-off valve doesn't work properly. Really nice boiler. It'll be one of my last at this location. I start moving out on June 10th. I'm going to move the shop and all the heavy equipment out. I don't think I skipped anything, so there you go.